Tomorrow, the people of Haiti will vote for a new president. Their current president is Michelle Martelli, better known as the outlandish pop star Sweet Mickey, who won the 2011 election in a most unlikely fashion. Martelli's surprising road to the presidential palace is the subject of a new documentary, Sweet Mickey for President. It follows Pros Michelle, the Grammy-winning rapper and founder of the hip-hop group The Fugees, as he returns to his homeland after the 2010 earthquake. It left Haiti a shamble made worse by a corrupt government. The Haitians are fed up. They just can't get a break. And now they feel like at this point they have nothing. They lost everything. They lost everything. So I was like, you know what? We need a drastic change. An outsider, if you will. You need someone can inspire the people I called my friend Michelle Martelli, and we started to talk. Man, you're the one that really can help Haiti to make that change. Pros Michelle produced the movie, and he's here to tell us all about it. Good morning. Morning. So as we saw in that clip, you, the movie really starts right after this earthquake. I said it really, as, as it's hitting almost, in a sense. Right. Why did you want to do this project, and why did you want to start it right where you started it? Uh, well, that's when I got to Haiti. Uh, I went to Michelle Martelli, Sweet Mickey, and basically kind of convinced him to run for president. President, did you really think you could pull this off when you, I mean, at that moment in time? I just, you know, my intentions were good. Yeah. You know, um, it was something to just help the people who just right. been devastated for so long, you know? So I, I did believe. I mean, I didn't know how we were going to do it, right. you know, but you got to believe, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what was it about Sweet Mickey, though, that made you think he could do it? Well, he's a big pop star in Haiti, and I think as a leader, you got to be able to inspire people and get people to do things that they normally wouldn't want to do, yeah. you know, to make that change, you know? And I, and I believe at that time that he was the guy for the job. Neither of you had any political experience whatsoever. Or mm -hmm. money, really. <laughs> well, I mean, I was part of the Obama um, campaign in 08 and 12, so... I kind of like saw what was happening, but yeah, you're right. We had no money. Wyclef, for example, had 20 million to go register. We had like 47 thousand dollars. Well, you mentioned Wyclef because that's the that's the the, the real curveball in right. this. Because right, you, you start this campaign, and then and then Wyclef Jean, who's your bandmate from the Fugees, ends up entering the race. But he's not aware you're behind Sweet he, Mickey. He's not aware, and I'm I, I didn't know he was going to run either. Yeah. So because we weren't talking at that time. Right. So when he entered the race. It was like a shock. I was flabbergasted. You were flabbergasted. Yeah. <laughs> what, to you, what to you is the most telling part? Because there's a lot of uh, tense exchanges that are captured. What to you was the most telling moment between Wyclef Sean and, you know, as these guys are almost fighting it out? That two musicians are fighting for the highest office in the land. I mean, I think that was, because when you sit back and think about it, you're like, why? You know, because they have no experience. So it really became kind of like, it seemed like an ego thing. You know, I'm a musician, I was successful, but now I want to be president. Right. Kind of like Donald Trump, minus <laughs> the diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what Sweet Mickey wore when he performed. Wycliffe ended up having to withdraw from the race because he was not a resident of Haiti. You wanted to get him to endorse Sweet Mickey. How challenging was that? I mean, yeah, it was pretty challenging because, you know, he lost to, you know, Sweet Mickey. Right. When he, Wycliffe is an international superstar. Yeah. You know, he was the Goliath, if you will in this campaign. Mm -hmm. and, but eventually, you know, he fell in place. Did he, you guys it, make peace? We made peace, yes. Yeah. For, for, the, for the sake of the country and the people, we had to make peace. Right. Sweet Mickey has been president now for four years. I'm curious, how do you rate him as president? I mean, do you feel like he lived up to all of the, the promises? Well, I mean, look, he's not Winston Churchill. He's not Ivan the Terrible either, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> somewhere in the middle, maybe leading towards Ivan the Terrible, maybe. But I mean, you know, I mean, I think, I think, <laughs> I think the progress was the fact that the people's vote was recognized. Yeah. Because you know, Haiti democracy. I mean, I was, the republic's 200 years old, but the first democratic election was 1990, and so the fact that the people said, "Listen, even though he may be." Sweet Mickey, wearing diapers, the clown, but we voted for him, and that's who we want. And you're right. going to respect and listen to our vote. And I think that's progress in itself. And obviously tomorrow there's a new election, so hopefully we can get back in track, get someone with some political experiences that can bring jobs, health care, right. right. you know. 
The documentary is called Sweet Mickey for President and opens in theaters November 20th. Perez Michelle, thanks so much Thank for being with us. Me. Remarkable story.